Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Okay, one uh, final reminder. We are going to have our midterm tomorrow, uh, Friday, March 7th, uh, in uh, Salvatore 101, the uh, computer science building. Uh, the two sessions, session number one, which is from four to six, and session number two from six uh, to eight. I will also be in my office uh, around 11 o'clock tomorrow. Just in case, if you do have any uh, last-minute questions, uh, feel free to drop by. And I think also the TAs will also be in their offices. If you prefer to drop by their offices, uh, that's also fine with me. Okay, today's lecture, by the way. Today's lecture. It's not included. Okay, and one more thing about the midterm. There will be what? There will be uh, six problems. Choose five. So six, choose what? Five. That's equal to what? Six factorial over what? Equal to what? Five ways can you choose this? Clear? Okay, good. And the problems will be similar to the one that you saw in your homework and the samples problem that I uh, passed on. Okay. Let's uh, continue our discussion from uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, types of switches that we refer to them or uh, we call them uh, self-routing. Those switches are very popular, types of architectures, which is very popular because it allows the switch, it allows to switch the incoming packets or the incoming cells without having to look up at uh, a table, come by the table. But of course, it's limited in their ability. They are not, as you will see in just a couple of not very scalable, but uh, they are widely used, and there's of them. Uh, one of them is called the Omega switch, the other one is called the Banyan switch, the third one is called the and so so. They differ from each other in their internal connectivity. In their internal connectivity, they differ. All of them are based on modules, which are what? Two by two. If you look at each one of these modules, it's a two by two module. Now, what is the idea of the, uh, of the uh, self-routing switches? routing switches is to identify the output port by an address. So in here, for example, how many output? We have eight, uh, sorry, we, yeah, we have eight uh, output port, eight output ports. Do I need to represent each one of them? I need three bits. We have how many stages? Three things to append. So for example, if this incoming port wants to communicate with this incoming port, what we append the address of the output port the address of the output port, don't confuse that with the, uh, with the address of the packet, where it is headed to. This is just what? Just to go. He will append the address of the output port in its header. So, for example, if a packet comes, let's look, let's look at this one here, for example, and then we'll go to the previous page again. Port number to communicate with what or wants to be switched to port number six. Port number one wants to switch to port number six. What address of port 6? The address of port 6 is what? Is 110. I will append to the packet that comes in here. So in here, the packet that comes in here, in here is appended by what? 110. Each stage will examine... What stages do we have? Three stages. How many bits do we have in the address? Three bits. Each is examine one bit from that address. Each stage will examine one bit from that address. If it is zero, it means what? He will switch it up. Remember, every switch is a what? It's a two-by-two two switch. Every switch, is, if it is zero, then he will switch, take it what? Up. If it is one, he will take it what? Down. So, for example, so it came the, this is the packet, and in the header of the packet, there is a what? One, one, zero. So what does he do? He, he looks, first of all, at the, first, at the most significant digit. This one looks at the what? Least significant digit. If it is what? If it is switch it what? The switch will take it what? Up. He does not need to make a decision. It will go up. I, I say that again. Oh, I'm out. And if it is zero, it will go what? Up. So in this case here, the zero goes down, activity here, and then what? This one will examine the middle bit, which is also what? One here, and will examine the last one, which is what? Which is zero. Here. <coughs> Created what is known as what? The self-routing or the cell is a steered 
through the fabric. In other words, it's guided through the fabric. Either it goes what up or it goes what, depending on the address of the outgoing port. Now, could there, could there be a conflict? By a conflict, what do I mean? Listen to what I mean by that. Okay, it's, listen to this. Now, this one went what went down. Are you following or not? Is it possible that num number five, okay, is it possible that number five, he wants to go what? He wants to go, as an example, to number seven. Now, is this first four, is this a different port? Number seven is a different, when the five comes, look at it. When the five comes, what is the first digit he examines? This is the what? The most significant digit, which is number what? Which is number what? So he will what? He will send it in here, will be a what? There will be a conflict. Did you get my point or not? There will be a conflict because even though, I am emphasizing one thing, even though the ultimate destinations are not the same what import, but we could have what? We could have internal, we could have internal competition within the fabric itself. So these types of switches, the Banyan switches or the Delta switches or the uh, uh, Omega switches are what? Are blocking switches. Clear? Are blocking switches. Oh, that in just a second. Okay, let's examine them an example. This is the Banyani switch. Now, notice, by the way, the interconnectivity in the middle. In here, it is what? First, go to this, this second here. Second, the two separate modules, whereas in here is what? This one goes here. In other words, number one to what? Number two, the other one is what? Four. So this one is connected to the first and the third to the second and the fourth, this one is connected to the what? First and the third, this one is connected to the second and the fourth. Clear? Every one of them have different types of what? Connectivity. Look, for example, in the Delta. The first and the what? This one is going what? The first and the third. Sir. Oh. Excuse me. This one is going what? The first and the third. This one is what? The second, fourth. This one is what? The first and the third. This one is what? Second and the fourth. Whereas this one. Oh. Excuse me. This one is what? It's the first and the third. This one is what? The third. In other words, in here, this one and this one will go to the same module. This one and this one will go to the same. So it's a different connectivity inside. Okay. Now, let's look at the Banyani switch just as an example, as a representative. What do I have? Okay. Each stage consists of what? Consists of N over 2. How, how many inputs do we have? How many inputs do we have in this case? In this case, we have what? Eight inputs. Each one will have what? Two by two, which means each. I have a four of them. In general, how many inputs do we have? We have n inputs. How many? St how many units in the first stage? N over what? Over two. Why? Because each one of them is a what? Each one of them is a two by two. Okay. Now, how many number of stages do I need? How many number of stages do I need? Here, how many stages do I need? How do we know that is three? The length of the what? The address. If we do have n output, if we do have n output, do I need to represent them. How many bits do I need to represent them? I represent, I need logs. So how many stages do I need? I need log n stages because every stage will examine how many just one bit. So we have what? We have log n. The cell routing. Routing of the cells is based on the output port presented as a binary string with the first stage based on the what? The highest order bit. If zero routed to the higher output port of the module, otherwise below. And this is the example I just showed you. A cell arriving at input port one and is headed to port number six. Headed to port number six. So a tag of 110, again, it's a tag or tag of 110 is appended to the cell. There is only one path. There is only one here to here. Did you get this or not? Now, in reality, listen to me. Going 
from here to here. Going from here to here. What are your options? See this one? This switch. When you come to this switch, you either come this way or you come that way. But if you come, you'll never be able to come what? To that area. To this, uh, to this port. You follow me or not? Because what? Because it means that the first is a zero. Whereas the first bit actually is a what? It's a what? But when I say the first bit, about what? The most significant bit. Clear? There, so there is only one path. There is only one path from the port to an outgoing path. Possibility of internal collisions. We have a possibility of internal collisions. The cells are destined to the different what? Ports. Even if the cells are destined to different ports, possibility that there is a what? Contention in the middle. Contention internal. Okay. A, 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 a different ports collision incoming cells want to exit when two incoming cells want to exit a switching module the port at the same what at the same time both of these again one more time there's a the module in here if number five wants also to exit the module and here from here there will be a, a contention here this is contention here this is what is known as what the internal internal collision Blocking occur in a banyan switch when either different inputs, the cells on different inputs. Is it possible that there is a cell here? A cell here, income, let's assume seven. A cell here, distant. Will there be collision? A cell in here came that is distant to the cell. Will there be collision? Let's see. What is the address here? The address will be what? One, the same as this address. Did you get this or not? So what do we have? One to lower one. One. Yes. And then what? Zero. There is a collision. That. Yes. Okay. So it's what? It's either cells on different inputs are destined to the same output or which between different input and output ports input line from the switching element. Clear? Okay, to prevent the first condition, which is cells on different inputs are destined to the same output, to prevent the first condition, input are used to select only one cell to go through the switching fabric. The rest are what? What we saw last time. In other words, at the input, you are going to have a what? You are going to have a buffer uh, to, uh, to, uh, to queue all the cells other than what? Other than one of them. One of them will go through to be queued. To prevent the second condition from happening, to prevent the second condition from happening, having internal, having internal conflict, what they use is what? They use another network, Padger sorting matrix, Padger sorting matrix, ahead of the Banyan, to what? To change the, to change the permutations of what? Of these lines. To change of these lines. A, a network before it. In other words, you put a network before it such that if there is a what? If, uh, if there is a cell coming in here, that there is an internal conflict in here, they will what? They will what? To another input. Are you following? They change it to permutation. Different what? Different permutations. And the input, they call it the what? The badger sorting matrix to allow what? To, uh, to uh, prevent the situation from this one from happening. When you do have enter this situation, this one here will go to what? Will go to another switch. It's the same what? It's the same con, but they what? They permute it. Permute is what? Goes from one way to another way to prevent internal uh, internal uh, conflict. Okay, so all the cells, again, shuffle. It's like you are shuffling them. Shuffling them one with, uh, in the place of the other. Interconnect them by a shuffling exchange. All the cells arriving as will follow a unique, all the cells will follow a unique path through the, through the, uh, through the switch, so that you eliminate the possibility of having internal uh, conflict. But that means that you are going to have a design of another network here, the badge sorting matrix, and you need to what? Control it, continue, and this from uh, up. Okay, this is an example of an example. So you have this one is 110. This one is what? It's 111. It's 110 down, going down, and this one 111 means what? And then what? Going down again. And there was a what? There is a conflict in here. So what does this one tell you in matrix, the matrix? When you see a 111, he will not send it to, to what? Here, for example. Did you get this or not? 
He was if, if, if this one was 111, would we have a problem? Instead of this one, it is this one. Would we have a problem? We would not have a problem. Why? Remember, 111 is here. This is 111. 111 will be what? Will be this and, and then what? This. Did you get this or not? And it, it did not have any what? Any contact. Clear? You, you, you shuffle those. You shuffle the input. There is a network in here. The shuffling. Shuffling means what? Put this one here. Put this one here. Put this one here. Put this one here. To prevent internal. Uh, clear? Oh. Excuse me. Oh, why do we have internal blocking? Let's understand the math a little bit. Let's understand the math a little bit. <coughs> Inter <coughs> Excuse me. Why is there internal blocking inside? How many permutations do we have of n of if we do have n objects and I tell you what permute them. in permutation the order did you get this or not the permutation the order is important how many of them do we have we have n permutations n n means what means listen to me let's assume this is eight by eight this is eight by permutations do I have this in other words call it what one 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 Two, one, three, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. Are you following me or not? Uh, uh, two, what are the permutations that I was telling you about? One, two, excuse me. It's not the same as what? Two, one. These are two different things because the order is important. Oh, so we have factorial permutations of n objects. All of them are distinct, which means what? It means of multi-stage interconnection network, which has what? Log n stages. For a total of what we do have, excuse me, we do have middle stages. How many mid of stages is what? It's log n to the base 2, which means what do I need? How many total switches do I have? n, y n here, y n. It's n over what? Over 2, which is total number of switches. It's n over 2 times what? Times log n. Why? How many stages do we have? Stages. In each stage, how many switches do we have? N over 2. So the total is what? N times over what? Over 2. Each switch can be in either what? The on the 0, the uh, either what? Each switch. This is the switch. This is the switch. It could be in either the what? This state or what? This state. Clear? E each of these switches, switches could be either in this state or in this state. How many switches total? We have <coughs> n over 2 log what? n. n can be in which state? It's two state. So how many total? How many total possible number of states? It's raised to the power what? n by 2 log n. Did you get this or not? Two came from this one, this one. It's either it's, uh, up, uh, either this state or this state. Oh, now see this one here. It, 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 this is the same as saying what? N raised to the power what? N. Are you following me or not? Did you understand how this one is? This is the log. In other words, this log n to the to the power what? N over two, and this is what two to the log. The two to the log will come up with what? N to the n over two. Did you get this or not? Yes. Oh, look at it. This is how many possible what states can I have? This is the total number of what? Per Do you understand that or not? This, remember, a non-blocking switch, a non-blocking switch that would allow all what? That would allow all permutations, all n factorial. Let's see if this one allows it. If n is equal to 1, what is it? 1, 1. If n is, this one is what? 2, this one is also 2. Can you zoom in, please, a little bit? Thank you. This one is 2. If n is equal to 4, you notice what happened? That's what happened? This one is what? 24. This one can support how many? Only 16. Which be what? There will be black. At n in 8, as n increases, look at it. As n increases, what do you notice? You notice that the difference becomes what? Are you following that we are not able to what? We are not able to support uh, all what? All permutations. Able to support all permutations. In here, what does it mean when I say 24? It means that there are what? Possibilities or 24 
permutations between the what? Between the input and the output. But this port, how many of them? 16 of them. The others, 8, will be what? Will not be supported. Clear? Did you get this equation where it came from? Okay, good. Okay, be in one of the two states. So the number of different arrangements is no more. The number of different arrangements no more than this. And this one, again, cannot support n factorial. At the beginning, it's okay. When n, when n is small, that's okay. But as n increases, you can see, by the way, if n equal to 32, how many are? There are 3 times 10 to the what? 35. But based on this, states do you have? 10 times what? 10 to the what? I repeat, 10 to and 24, where the total is this. So all the rest are, are, uh, are blocked. Now, let's see if you can help me with the, with the uh, figuring out equations for the probability of blocking. What is the probability of internal blocking? That there was a block in the internal. So there an M stage switch. M stage, in this case, how many stage? Here, three. Yes? So let M be the number of what? Number of stages in the switch. Probability of M, the probability of M designate the probability that on the upper output after stage M, after stage M, which means what? It means, the, let me ask you a question first of all. Let me ask you a question. Let's assume I have the power. Okay, let's assume this is the, and assume that there is a what? There is a problem in here. A probability that there is a cell here is what? The probability that there is a cell here is what? Is P. Clear? Okay. And the cells, again, as I told you, assume they are equally likely to be headed to any of the two outputs. Yes? That there will be a cell here. Probability that there will be a cell here. Let's understand, first of all, when will there be a cell? When will there be a cell? There will be a cell what? If you do have this, let me sketch it so that you can see it on the back. Agree? There will be a cell in here. Yes? Agree? Eight or more? Huh? Is there any other cases? Could I? Can I have like this? I remember, what will have tension here? One of them will be what? One of them will be served, the other one will be what? Cute. But a cell will show up in here. Clear? What else? Is there another case? What is what is the other one? Two of them are this one. To the lower one? No, I'm interested only in the upper one. I'm only interested in the upper port. Why? Can't we have like this? In other words, there is no cell in here, but there is a cell in here that goes to this one. Can I have this? Yes? What is the probability? What is the probability that there is, is there another case? That's it. What is the probability that there is a cell the upper output after stage M? Stage M. This is what we are looking for. This one. The stage M. Where are these coming from? Where are these coming from? Stage what? M minus one. If this is this is stage M minus one. Okay. Let's see if you did you get it or not. Let's see the equations. 
What is this? There's a probability that there is a cell on the upper output, F. Now consider saturated input is what? The probability that there is what? <coughs> the probability from what? The zero. Probability of zero means what? At stage zero, yes, is equal to what? There is a cell. There is a cell here. This is okay. Probability of zero equal to one, and that the probability that else wants the upper output equal to one half, equal to one half. It means the probability that there is a cell in here that wants to go to the what? To the upper output is because the cells are equally likely to be what? Switched to either one of them. So what is, will be a cell here? What is the probability that there will be a cell here? It's what? One minus, don't just say, one minus P of M minus one Two, what is P of M minus one? P of M minus one is the probability cell from a what? The previous stage divided by two, I am what? See, because there will be a cell in here. There will be, if at least, when will there be no cell here? Well, when will there be no cell in here? One, this is this one. Did you get this or not? One minus the probability that the what? In the previous, yes, divided by what? Divided by two. They are going to go where? To the other port, not to that specific output. This one here, we are talking about the upper output only. The okay. Square. Square. Why? Because we have how many inputs? And then I subtract from what? I subtract from what? Clear? That's the probability of what? That's the probable blocking. So, at m equal to zero, at m equal to zero, what is p of m? p of m is equal to what? One. Are you following me or not? Yes? Okay. <clears throat> to what? One. At m to one, which is what? We, remember, m is what? m is the edges. And I'm starting from what? Zero, one, two, like this. At m equal to one, what do I have? Seven, five. The probability that there will be a cell is what? It's 0.75. Clear? Can you show me where I'm point, uh, 0.75? Uh, here, in this example. Can you zoom back, please, a little bit? When is the case of what? When is the case that there is nothing in here? What is the case? No cell in here. There will be no cell in neither of these. If neither of these are headed toward where? Towards, do you agree? What is the probability that this one is headed to this output? One half. What is the probability headed to this output? What is the probability that they are both headed to this output? Which means what? This one is what? It's empty. Did you get this or not? That explains this 0.75 to 2. M is equal to 2, which means what? Now we are talking about what? We are talking about the third stage. M is equal to 2. It becomes what? becomes 0.6094. 0.3392. Two, ten, eight, five. PM, <coughs> this tends to zero as the nose. So we need to what? Consider non-blocking design or build in what? Buffering in the switches. And otherwise, you, we are, you can see that the probability of what? The probability that there is a what? There is a packet in the upper what? Will decrease as what? As the number of stages what? As the number of stages increases. Clear? Clear? One designer to provide for what modular design. If the internal modules are reconfigurably non-blocking, this also what the combination is also not in other words. If we can do the internally, if we can do the internally to be reconfigurable, reconfigurably not blocking is what. What does it mean? If we rearrange the what? If we rearrange existing, we can what? We can make the combinations all combinations uh, 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 allowed. Which is the modulus which is, is called the Benet switch. The Benet switch consists of what? In the middle, see this one, every one of them is a two by two. But in the middle switch, I, d I don't use two by two. I use what? N by N by two. To allow what? To allow, how many of these do I have? How many of these do I have? I have, and here is what? N over two, which means what? It means each switch here will have two outputs. To here, the other one will come to here. This, 
this, this, this. Did you get this on right? Rather than, excuse me, rather than having the middle uh, as a two by two. In here, we increase the size of the uh, of the uh, middle uh, margin and by two. Now, then we can break it into what? When we can design it into, in other words, we start with this, and then what do I do? With this module, what do I do? I break it into what? See this one here? How much? What? How many ports? This this is which here. How many ports does it have? It's four by four. How many of? Remember, n is equal to eight in our case. I have four by four. Yes. So I break this one into what? Into again? Into what? Into three months. Get this or not? By what? By doing it by two by two. So now what do I have? As if this is this, one. and this one is what? Excuse me. This one is this much. Clear. That's the concept of the what? Of the Benet switch. Hence, has five stages. What? Three stages. In the case of the what? The Banyan, how many stages? By the way, you notice the number of inputs the same. It's still what? Eight by eight. I reform that. It's still eight by eight, like this one. Excuse me. It's still eight by eight, like this one. But in this case here, where do I have the number of, of what? And it's, how many switches did we have here? How many switches did we have here? Two. Yes. How many switches do we have here? Four, 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 four. What? I need 20 switches. Yes. And how many stages do I need? I need two. What? Log n minus one. Why? Why two log n minus one? Why is it two log n minus one stages? Here, in our example, what is the n? <clears throat> what is the n? It's 8. Log, every log is to the base what? It's to the base 2. So it's what? Log 8. 3 times 2 is what? 6 minus what? My, this is not there. It's no bracket here. This means what? The time is zero. Like this. Clear? And again, how many switches do we have? We have n log n. In this case, what is the n? 8. So this is what? 3 times what? 8 minus what? n over 2, which is what? 4. So we need only a 20 switches but as compared to the, as compared to the what? As compared to switches, uh, sorry, to the 12 switches in Banya. But this one will improve what? will improve on the probability, improve on the probability of black means what? Means it will reduce it. Clear? It will reduce it, but on the expense of adding switches. Clear? Okay. Excuse me. Okay. I want to show you the architecture before we leave this, uh, before we leave uh, this topic, and what is not, what is known as a knockout a switch architecture, a knockout. Anybody is fan? Knockout is what you see in what? In boxing, knockout means uh, it's, it's somebody hitting the uh, to, to the canvas or something like that. So knockout switch uh, architecture by AT and T. This type of switch AT and they are you still using them in uh, in their uh, in their network and their switching architectures. Okay, it's used at the output of a what? of a crossbar switch. So what I have is a what? Bar switch. This is a crossbar switch. A crossbar switch. Remember, in a cr every one of these is a what? Every one of these is a crossbar. Now, what do I have in here? <coughs> Excuse me. What do I have in here? I have N in what? N outputs. Are you following me? N inputs and N outputs. A knockout switch, it tells you what? Only, in principle, only a few cells, say K out of N, will actually content for a certain one output. And the end, see, to content to, excuse me. To content for a, to content for a certain output, what is the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is that all of them to the same what? will be to the same output. In other words, we do have a cell here, a cell here, a cell here. All of them are to the same output. 
But that, in principle, does not happen that often. So only a few cell and will contend for a certain output. The principle of the knockout switch is that what? You select, out of these, you select K winners. K winners, I will show you that what that means in just a second. K winners out of N possible cells. The switching fabric need only K times faster than the incoming link rate rather than what? N times faster. Let me explain to you one thing here. If you do have a, a if you do have a, if you do have a crossbar switch, and if there at the input the crossbar like this, this, if you do have a crossbar switch like this, and if there are n cells in here that are all input, what what is the speed of the switch needs to be? If he needs to serve all of them, if he of them. What should the speed of the switch be? The switching fabric needs to run what? N tighter than each one of them. Yes? But if you only take what? K or only take K of them, the speed will become what? Will become smaller. Are you following? You are going to what? So how many cells will be disregarded? Up to N minus K cells will be disregarded, which I'll show you in just a second. Clear so far? Okay, so now what do I have? Instead of what? Instead of having a crossbar from, from each inlet to each outlet, we are going to have what? High-speed buses. These are the high-speed buses. What? This one is connected to here, connected to here, connected to here, and so on and so forth. All of them. Headed to which? This one is headed to port number one. This one is headed to port number what? Two. This one is end. All of them are connected to what? To each one of these modules. Clear? This one will conduct a, a, a tournament between them. There are some winners and there are some what? There, for example, this. This game, one of them will win. It will come here. The other one will what? Will contend with this another game in here. One of them will win, the other one will lose. Then content with this guy. Another game. They play another game. This one will win, the other one will. Did you get this or not? A trying to select what? Select winners from what? From a group of cells to the same output. So knockout modules select at most K cells out of N possible, upping the remainder. And a K cells out of what? Then what we have is, this is what I was just showing you for. For example, four to three. How many inputs are there? Four. We'll compete with this one. The winner comes in here. The loser comes in here. This one and play the game. The winner comes in here. The loser comes in here. This one with this one. The loser comes in here. Now, what is a D means? D means what? Delay. There is a delay in here because this one is waiting <clears throat> until to see what is happening here. This one. With this one, again, the other one, delay. This one, again, becomes what? One, one, one. And this one is what? So out of four, how many did we select? We selected the three of them. Or one, or two, and or three. Clear? This is another one, six by one. One. Six by one, knockout constraint means what? Out of six, I will only take what? I will only take one. So this, again, each one of them is a two by two. This one, this one, winner, the loser will what? Leave. The winner, the loser will leave. This one and this one, the winner, the loser will leave. And then what? This one and this one, and here, and the winner will what? Will, sorry, the loser will leave, and here, loser will leave, and you end up with. So you are selected out of six, you selected only what? Only one of them. Clear? So we have what is known as what? Out, uh, concentrate. Six inputs enter, one winner emerge. Five to the what? To the side. Now, let's do the math so that you understand the the uh, how do you get the probability that there will be uh, will be a cell here. Let x be the what? <coughs> the winners are what? Any any at uh, this x any of these x's. The winner is what? In the left, and the loser will go to the what? Right. A d is a what? Is a delay box. What is that means? It has how many inputs? Only one input. They don't play the game. But why this delay? Because this one is waiting to see which one. Is
is, is going to be uh, winning from this uh, game here so that they can play the final game here. Excuse me. This is how it is again. N by K, knockout switch. And inputs output here, and minus one lines comes in here. Then what? One output and minus two lines. And minus K, one mass. And minus K are what? Are the ones that get uh, rejected. So we have how many outputs emerge simultaneously, and N minus K lines are what? Are. Uh, okay. Now, how do we choose K? How do we choose these K out of the N inputs? Out of the N inputs. Excuse me. How do we get out of the N inputs? How? Let's see if you can help me. How to choose K? The criteria is that we want the cell dropping rate to be optimal. The probability that a cell is dropped it to be what? Acceptable. Something is reasonable. The larger the, the larger the K is, the cost of the switch will become what? Will become high. The ultimate thing is all of them. And when you choose all of them, what does it mean? It means the switch needs to work faster because it is K simultaneously. Uh, sorry, all of these N cells simultaneously. Now. now we are going to use the same assumptions as before. What are these assumptions? Is that there is a cell and the cell is headed to what? To a particular output uniformly. So it's the same assumption. Be the number of cells destined to a given output. Let X be the number of cells destined. What is the probability that X equal to M? The probability of X equal to M let me, is what? Is N choose what? M times what? It, sorry, what is the probability of X equal to K? I'm sorry. That X equal to K is what? Is N choose K times the probability of what? P raised to the power what? K times what? 1 minus P over N raised to the N minus K. Clear? Change the type of here. This one is what? It's K. Now, what is the average number of what? What is the average number of a dropped cells? What is of a dropped cells? Alpha, the dropped cells is what? Is M minus K times that X equal to what? M. Yeah. M is the what? <coughs> what is K is the what? Is the one that I chose. Do we choose a criteria for K? M minus K are the one that I'm what? That I'm drop. M minus K times the probability that X equal to what? From where? K plus one to what? To N. Why am I summing from K plus 1 to N? Because the first K are going to be what? To be accepted. The remaining ones, which is K plus 1 to what? They will be what? Redropped. And we are trying to figure out what? What is the average number of what? Drops. Number of drops. Notice, by the way, we don't start from what? K. We start from what? M. <coughs> Clear? M minus K. So it's what? M minus K times what? times the probability of M. And the M starts from where? K plus 1 to N. Now, <coughs> the fraction, this is what? The average number of drop cells. The fraction of the cell lost is what? Is alpha over one. Alpha over P. Why is it over P? Because P is the what? That a cell is there. What is alpha? Alpha is what? Is the, pro the uh, 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 probability that what? So it's what? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sorry, um, alpha is the average number of number. Average number of drop cell. What I'm dividing it by? I'm dividing it by what? By the probability that a cell, that a cell is there. Clear? That a cell is there. Clear? What is P, by the way? What is P? The average number. Remember, a cell is a present. A cell is a present. With a probability what? P. Not a present. With a probability of...
one minus b. What is the average? It's right. Oh, and this is what? What is the alpha? Alpha is the average number of what? Or what? Dropped. P is the what? Is the average number of cells. You follow me or not? P average number of what? Cells. Why is it? Why did I call the property that cell is? Because a cell is a present with a probability of what? P. And it is what? Not, not present with a probability of what? Or well, the average number. Average number of cells present is what? P times times what? See, which is what? P. And what is the alpha? One more time. What is the alpha? This number of dropped cells. So alpha over P is the what? Is a fraction of the cells. Clear? The, they are switched, again, in their own network, in the ITA network. But the problem with this one here is that you are going to have what? You are going to have, so again, this, remember what I told you. Once you say that a cell is dropped, it means what? The uh, uh, switch is what? Is a blocking switch. Clear? All, most of the switches in the real world, most of the switching networks are of what? Are of the blocking variety, and not the non-blocking variety. Non-blocking variety uh, cost uh, a lot to be made. So they they decide on the value of k. They decide what is an acceptable to choose k. They need need to decide what is an acceptable rate of what of cell being dropped, ten percent or one percent, whatever it is acceptable. From that they can design what they can figure out that they require. Clear. Clear. Oh, now, next, what are we going to do next? We are going to start with now the next thing, which is what? Which is, I posted yesterday, I hope you received my uh, message. We are going to be looking right now at routers. And in terms of router, inside the router, what do you see? Do you see a switch? Inside the router, do you see? You see a switch. That's what we. Uh, that's why we talked about switches before we talked about what routers. With an integral component of a what of a router. Inside the router, there is a what a switch. Let's see if you can help me here. Look at the diagram so that you understand what I'm talking about. And here, that's the basic architecture of a router. Inside, what is the centerpiece? Centerpiece of the switch. So what we have been talking about is here right now. Now we need to look at what? At the overall, except the what? The router. Now, what is a router? First of all, a simple definition of a router. What is a router? A router is a packet forwarder. It's a packet forwarder, which means what? It forwards packet in one point to another point. It could be what? Multi-protocol. Multi-protocol means what? Means it can support protocols. IP, Internet Protocol, IPX, there's no well... Uh, a protocol for the Internet Protocol Exchange, Apple Talk, and so on and so forth. All of these types of protocols are what? Protocols. Routers can be multi-protocol. Although currently most of the routers are specialized to handle only what? Only IP, because of the popularity of the IP. What else can you look at the router? You can look at as a routing protocol, execution engine. Execution engine means the routing protocols are going to be what? Executed. Now, we are going to be looking at multiple protocols. We studied them in 450. We will not spend time on it. Some of them we did not study in 450. Most important one is the, what is known as the PGP. PGP stands for what? The Border Gateway, Pro Gateway Protocol. I don't know. Those of you who did not take 450 with me, did you cover PGP? Expand on it right now. We will expand on it. PGP is not a simple protocol, so we need to understand. IGR, Internal Gateway Routing Protocol, example of which is the what? Is the Routing Information Protocol, shortest path first, or what is gener generically known as what? ISIS. IS stands for what? Inter what? Another intermediate system. IS stands for intermediate systems. Excuse me. Now, what is another way of looking at a router? 
another way of looking at router is a what? It's a paid money first packet. Remember what, I, what we discussed in the quality of service uh, uh, set of notes. Comes into a router, the router will what? Will monitor the packet, will mark it, will count it, and so on and so forth. Will shape it or what? Are done in the router. A router could be regarded as a what? As a general purpose computer. You use your computer as a what? As a router. General purpose computer. Do have what? If you do have the proper routing functionality implemented in your machine. It started as a what? As a firewall. To prevent this firewall is to what? To prevent outside. Into. At which level? At which layer? At. Sorry. At. At layer three, which is which layer? That's the network layer. Example, based on certain IP addresses, can filter some of the packets. Filter some of the packets means what? Do not into the network. Do not allow them to be processed further to the application. We say what? We say that on the at the network level. And of course, a router is a what? Is a switch. Packets are going to come from what? An incoming port to an outgoing port. Clear? So you can look at the router. Uh, that you want. Now, we studied this in 450. Let's see, uh, uh, remind you of this uh, confusion. You hear, when you hear people talking about routers, you hear two terminologies. The first one is, the other one is what? It's forward. Let's understand each one of them separately. Where is the router? Both of them are which layer? Both of them are being done at where? At layer three. Are you following or not? But route the what? In the control plane, routing is done In plane, forwarding is done in what? Data plane. That mean? What does that mean? Routing is done regardless of whether there are what? To the router or not. Even though the router, even if the router does not have any packet coming to its, uh, to its, you still need a what? You need a routing table to be created. That's what it means by saying control plane. Control plane is not on a packet per packet basis. What is, what is the routing functionality is to create or to build what is known as a what? As a routing tables based on some, on some criteria using routing algorithms like the RIP, the OSPF, and so on and so forth, or the PGP. The result of the routing, the result of the routing process is creating the what? The routing table. Next place. The forwarding is done in which plane? Data plane. On a packet? Per packet? Basis. On a packet per packet basis. So as a packet what? As a packet router, what will happen? The router will examine the header and it will check then what? It will check the routing table. Clear will check the routing table and decide how it will forward, how it will forward it uh, to, the next, uh, to the next port along the way. Clear? Okay. So to always uh, keep in mind, you see people using those terminologies interchangeably. Uh, you need to be a little bit more precise in understanding them. Okay. Now, functionality. What are the forwarding functions? In other words, a packet comes. What does the router do? First of all, he parse the packet. Understand what the parse mean? What does parse? Parse means what? Select the packet header. Clear? Select from what? From the payload. Parse the packet header. Do the what? The checksum. To check what? To check what? If you remember, IP only checks what? Recall? IP just check the header. Or errors. <coughs> Just check the what? Just check uh, the header for errors. That's what it means by what? Check some actions. Now, by the way, if erroneous, what happens? Excuse me. The back. The 
networking protocol, what is the networking protocol that is being used? It does not have to be IP. Remember I told you there's Apple Talk and so on so. It decrement the TTL field. TTL stands for what? Time. Originally, by the way, origin supposed to be what? It was supposed to be time in second. Are you following that? But currently it's used as a what? As you follow me as, as a number of hops. Every time, every time, a packet arrived at a router, router decrease the GTF. When zero, drop it. When it reaches what? When it reaches zero, you, you drop the packet. Okay. The, uh, 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 some more of uh, the... For use the TOS. What is the TOS stands for? The type of service. Uh, it's also currently, currently it's called what? DS for what? Differentiated. Services to provide what? To prioritize the packet. Prioritize the packet. Make this packet higher priority, lower pro Process also the option fields. There are in the header of the packet, there are what? Several options here to process all of them here. And then forward or route the packet to the next hub. All of these, it can also what? It can also do the fragmentation. Fragmentation means what? Excuse me, into smaller units. Let's see if you remember. Why do we do that? That's because the packet does the what? Into the maximum transmission unit of your frame. Clear? Maximum transmission unit. It can fragment the packet. Do the routers put the fragments back together? In other words, do they do the reassembly, the fragmentation? They only do the fragmentation. They don't do the reassembly. Only the end system does the assembly, the reassembly. Why? Because the fragments might what? Might route from the source to the destination. Clear? So fragmentation and at where? At the re sorry, reassembly. At. The reassembly is done at where? At the host. The routing functionality, this is the forwarding functionality we just did. The routing is to execute one or more routing protocols or routing algorithms. We execute one of, why one or more? We will see when we talk about autonomous system, we see there is what is known as internal routing protocols, external routing protocols. That's what it means by one or more routing protocols. Each state information with other routers. How do other, I am a router and you are a router, I need you. The state of what? The state of my interfaces, what, that, what networks can I what? Can I reach or what networks? So on so forth. So exchange state information with other routers. Use, of course, a transport can also provide for what? For authentication and so on so forth. It can also collect what? The routing function management statistics. For example, the number of packets, the length of the packet, the types of the packet, destination matrix. So you come up with a what? With some kind of a database that tells you what? That the packets are having a source address, destination address. How many of them? How long are they? And so on and so forth. What type? And it also provides for what? Configuration supports, a user interface, the tunnel management, tunnel details shortly. Clear? All of these are functionalities of what? of what is known as the function. Clear? Oh, this is a tutor look like. This is your router. How many of you have router at home? This is it. You agree? Is this the router that you see in the internet? In the internet? Oh, of course not. You are not going to see this. This is what you see. A huge devices, very expensive devices. This, by the way, all of these, all of these input, these are input ports, input ports, output ports, and so on and so forth. Clear? This is a core router. What does a core router mean? A router that is used only in the what? 
in the core network compared to an ATM switch. When we get to the ATM shortly, we will see why that they, they, they were the competitors of what? Of routers. They want ATM proposed forwarding in layer what? In layer two, whereas the router does the forwarding in which layer? Layer three. They, so the ATM thought that they can what? They can win the game, win the race, if you would like, because they will be. And ATM switches are faster than the routers. However, there was a lot of problems associated with ATM that uh, technology did not or was not able to dominate the market as uh, as the routers did. Clear? Okay. What, what, OC48C. <coughs> Excuse me. Is uh, roughly a uh, two gigabits, which means what? This router can handle what at a rate of what? Two gigabits per second. Giga means what? A billion. Two billion bits every second. POS, by the way, we will study it uh, shortly when we get to the uh, to the technologies. POS stands for what? Packet over sonnet. It's a packet over sonnet. These are another uh, another display shows you the power consumption. This is what this is a 160 gigabits per second, which means what? How much bigger than this one? How much uh, uh, powerful than this one? This one is two gigabits per second. This one is two gigabits per second. So it's what 80 times as faster. Okay, <clears throat> the power that they consume power roughly four kilowatt. We are not talking about what what we are talking about what kilowatt. These are humongous devices. They ex they expend a lot of power. This is the Cisco model. This is the Juniper companies are the two biggest companies in the in the United States that will manu that manufacture clear. And the money is in the routers. The money is in the routers. In other words, they make a lot of profit selling their what routers, as opposed to just what the NIC card or the modem. NIC card and the modem, you are not going to make much uh, from it or much money from it. This one, the one, this one it uses what, 2.6 uh, kilowatt, and uh, the capacity is uh, 80 kilobits per second. It can process 80, did I say kilobits per second? I'm sorry, 80 gigabytes, a uh, gigabit per second. Clear? No. This is, when you do have high performance router, what you are going to do, it's in the what? In the internet core. Remember the, the divisions of our network. We have the access, and we do have the what? We do have the uh, core, the metro or the distribution, and we do have the core. The are usually used in what? In the core of the network, core of the internet, where you speed up the what? The transmissions of uh, of packets, regardless of uh, or uh, uh, without doing much functionality here. We'll do it at what? At the edge of the network. Clear? These are called edge routers. These are called what? The internet routers or the core routers. This is a, a, an expanded view of a POP. What is a POP stands for? Point. Point of presence. Point of presence is the what? Is the play a service provider, for example, AT&T or Verizon, will collect what? Will collect the, from the other uh, POPs, other POPs. So what do you see? Inside a pop, a pop, inside a pop, you see what? A whole bunch of routers connected to what? To different destina destination to accept the traffic from them. Clear? This is like a snapshot. I'm taking a picture of what goes on. Clear? Okay. And you can see, by the way, the connectivity inside. It's a what? What type of? What? It's a mesh topology, but it's not a what? Fully connected. It's not a fully connected, but it's a mesh topology to provide, to provide for redundancy. Question? Okay. Now, this is the basic architecture that we uh, that we that we are going to be looking at. Uh, notes. Uh, we do have the switch in the middle. The switch is under the control of what? <coughs> Router controller and management controller. All of these are in the control plane. And then what? At each port, you do have the interface, and on the side, you do have the what? You do have the user interface, for example, or the to enter. Uh, whereas this one, we do have all multiples or all types of what? All types of routing uh, processors that will uh, perform the functionalities. 
This is the one that I was telling you about. It's the data plane and the contact. This one is available in every router. The idea, the new idea about the SDN. Have you heard about SDN? SDN stands for what? Software defined, excuse me, networks. What is the idea? What is this idea? Later on this semester, I will give you a short tutorial. What is the idea about software defined network? Is to remove the control. And instead of being what? On a router per router basis, you will do it what? Centrally, outside the what? And you are able to what? To exchange information with what? With all of these routers to perform their route. Clear? Okay. So what do you see in the control? Currently, everything is like this. What is what do you see in the control? You see the admission control. You see the congestion control. You see the what? The reservation using what? RSVBs and so on and so forth. Data plane, which is on a packet per what? Packet basis. On a packet per packet basis, you see the right thing, the switching. Switching is what? From here to here and so on and so forth. The policing or what? Your traffic is going to be regulated, marked, shaped, and so dropped or queued or whatever the case might be. Policing here and on the other side, we have the what? The output the scheduling and so on and so forth. Joining the line is what? There's a line to join. Clear? Oh, this is again. Now, where did they put the forwarding table? It's done in the what? In the, in the, in the interface to other ports. Clear? A support processor rather than what? Rather than the central processor. Those all of these forwarding tables and so on and so forth. This is where the decision is being made. The interconnection, you can see it, by the way, as a what? In this example, as a what? As a cross point what? And so on and so on. Clear? Clear? Okay. Now, once you go through this, then the output will be going through the scheduling algorithm to schedule which output will go what? Which output will go first? And is it possible that multiple of them are headed to the same output? Of course, it's multiple. You need to have a what? You need to have a schedule to uh, provide for what? It provides for the schedule. This is a packet. The packet consists of a header and a what? A page. The router will parse the header, look up what? Look up if it has a what? If it has a database already, then that's fine. Clear? If not, then... <coughs> Excuse me. It look up the IP address. If, if it does not have that IP address in its uh, routing table, then it will send the packet to the default router. Default router, every router has a what? A default. It's one router is saying what? I don't know where this one is located. I will send it to what? To that router. Okay, so there's the updating of the header. So does the header change? As you move from one router, the header change. Some of the headers, some of the header will change. Clear? Some of them will change. And then the packet will join a what? A queue. This is an out. out. Reason again, one more time, that we use the output queue. So last time, the output queued will will present you or will uh, will generate the maximum throughput. And then, okay, we'll continue next time. This is the again the address table coming from the uh, the central processor or the database address table and the buffer and the memories and so on. So. Next time, clear.